got a super easy tutorial for you today. It's using the new sky replacement feature in Photoshop. If you have the subscription, make sure that your Photoshop is up to date and you'll be able to find this option up here under the edit menu. First of all, you're going to open an image that has a sky that's sort of lacking in detail. So if you have one of those blown out skies or maybe it was an overcast day and there just isn't much there, you can come down here into sky replacement in the edit menu and you get all these amazing options. The first one wasn't so amazing, but there are three built-in folders. So the blue skies, the spectacular, and the sunsets are all built in. And then you can add in any overlays that you've purchased or that you've shot yourself. So here we can have a nice blue sky, cloudy day. You can play around with these and like move them around until you find a spot that you like. And you can just keep clicking through and find a sky that you love. There's one in here with a rainbow that I thought was kind of cute. There we go, a rainbow for this beautiful day. And then you can change so many things about it. So if your edges aren't lining up, like those trees on that first one, you can play around with that. You can make it darker or brighter. You can change the color temperature if you want your sky more blue. You can make it more blue if you want it warmer, like it's more sunset, you can do that. And when you're ready, just hit OK and it will form all of these layers for you that you can adjust. You can even take down the opacity of the whole thing if you wanted to, if you just wanted it to be sort of subtle in the background there. I kind of like what we have going on here, so I'm just going to flatten and save that. And there you go.